lovelies. So today I haven't talked about my obsessions in a really long time. Like I'm obsessed with this dog right here. Anywho, so I thought I would talk about one of my obsessions today. And one of my obsessions is one of my old obsessions because the thing is, is that I don't watch get to watch TV as much and I don't even watch my like T TiVo or DVR anymore so I'm really obsessed with Game of Crowns um, and I'm really obsessed with Ladies of London if you watch Lady of Ladies of London Caprice is batshit crazy sorry but she is sorry if you're team cap no nah. um, but I thought I would talk about Grey's Anatomy because it goes into one of my other obsessions that might not be an obsession, but I'm really excited about it. And that is, I am about to watch season 10 on Hulu of Grey's Anatomy. And I heard that it really sucks. So I'm kind of worried. But my friend Lindsay and I watch it, not together, but like, we talk about it and like watch it at the same kind of episodes. We've watched some episodes together, um, but I've been obsessed with it because it makes me very emotional and I don't cry enough. I know that sounds really weird, but it is very good for me to like cry. It, it makes me sleep a lot better and stuff like that. So I get like really emotionally involved in Grey's Anatomy. So Sloan is one of my favorite characters and I just really think he's handsome and so he's on this new show called The Last Ship and it is about infection which is like if you know me who the other day one of my friends was like oh who was it I want to call them out because they were like do you like Oh, it was Monica. She was like, do you like, do you like horror movies? Because we, my, Linz and I went to see The Purge. And she was like, do you like horror movies? And I was like, are you, is this a serious question? Because do you not know me? Like, I love horror movies. Like, zombies are my favorite. And, um, so, like, I love, like, the dystopian books and, like, the zombie books and the post-apocalyptic books and infection books. So... Could I say books one more time? Yep, I just did. Thank you very much. But anyways, so this is The Last Ship, and it's pretty much about these seamen. <laughs> oh, gosh. That pretty much are like the last that they know of, at least, when you start out. I'm only on the third episode partway through it. But um, there's some sort of infection that's taken over the entire country, uh, country, world. Big difference, huh? And um, they have a scientist on board that might possibly have the key to... What's the word I'm looking for? I totally just had fibro fog. Remember I said key keto cure and so but she's like working on it I don't know she kind of her face annoys me I don't know but Sloan is the main character in it so no matter how bad the TV show is he's in every episode at least so far uh, but I don't know where they're really gonna go with it but I'm just really excited that like Walking Dead was like I was so on board with that and like just to have zombie type shows and infection shows like that gets me really excited because I feel like that should be most of them and that other show mm, what was it called if actually films where I live um, but it was about the end of like electricity and that called I don't know comment down below if you know what the name of that show is or was I didn't I, I should probably watch it again but I got really bored of it 
Um, I found the concept really interesting, but it just got like dragged on and on and on. And I, some they killed off some of the main characters like really soon, and I was like, that kind of sucks. But um, but I support that just these kind of shows are coming out because they're my kind of shows. Those reality shows, I can never stop watching reality shows. Even when I know that they're acting, I'm like. I'm just gonna pretend that this is really happening because I especially like like uh, reality shows where there's relationships because I realize how difficult relationships are because you when you're not in when you're single for a really long time you're kind of like oh it would be really nice to be in a relationship and then you actually like remember what it's like to be in a relationship and you're like I think we want to just be single still like yeah I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> no. But, it, uh, so those are some of my obsessions. And I don't know if you guys like me talking about this, but I do know you guys uh, like me talking about topics. And I've been researching and doing a lot of stuff. I have been researching on YouTube what is out there and what is not out there mainly because there is not a lot out there. So I'm going to be doing just a first video on fibromyalgia. And I'm not going to read from Wikipedia. I'm going to talk about kind of what fibro is all about, but also my own experience of it. And um, so it's not just going to be like all research based, but I will talk about a little bit about the details of it. Because sometimes I talk to people with fibro and they don't even really know about neurotransmitter. Well, you wouldn't know about neurotransmitter because they don't exist, but neurotransmitters and um, just different facilities, faculties. What is wrong with me? Faculties? Facilities? You don't have facilities in your body, but you do have faculties in your body. Um, so I will talk about that in a semi-coherent way. I can't promise that it's going to be completely coherent. Clearly. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a pretty free stress free day and then we're sending out Exo Rose. Sorry. Jeez. Somebody's moody. I just kidding. I love you. I love you guys and as always I'll talk to you tomorrow.